Happy Friday to you. Well, it's the beginning of the Memorial Weekend, and that means different things to different people. To some people, it means it's time to go camping. To some people, it means this is the first official day of summer. To some people, it's another day off and an opportunity to do some projects or not. The beginning of Memorial Day is kind of an interesting history. I'll mention this again on Sunday, but it was originally called Decoration Day, and it was designed to remember the Civil War soldiers that died during that horrible chapter in our nation's history. Did you know that over 600,000 soldiers, Americans, died during the Civil War? And Decoration Day was started so that we would not forget what happened during that awful chapter in our nation's history. Then after World War I, it was renamed Memorial Day so that we could remember all the fallen soldiers that have died in the service of our country. Since then, it's taken on a whole new set of meanings, and we often remember just anybody who has died, and that's okay. People should be remembered. They matter to God. But technically, Memorial Day is a time of grief, not celebration. On the 4th of July, we celebrate independence. On Memorial Day, we grieve over those who have died. The passage that we're going to study this coming Sunday is a passage about grief, but it doesn't end in grief. It actually turns the corner, you might say, and helps us to understand what we should do in times of grieving. And I hope that as you embrace the, the posture, the heart posture, and the practice of Hannah, that you'll have the same result. And I think that you'll be encouraged and blessed and edified as you think about grief and how to turn the corner as we gather this coming Sunday. So have a great weekend. And if you can't join us in person, we'll see you online. God bless.